Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to start my Arabic teaching lessons and uh, I will go through just basic information in this lesson and later on I'm going to go into um, a deep uh, presentation of the letters of the Arabic language and how to pronounce them <coughs> and uh, we'll see if I'll do more than that later on so it will depend on whether you like it or not so uh, let's go before we start I would like you to excuse my English accent it's not that good anyway so just to start I would like you to know that in Arabic language we write from right to the left okay this is the first thing that you should know we write from the right to the left okay uh, remember that that's uh, really important and I'm using Photoshop here just to, to show you guys how to um, how to write in Arabic so I'm start I'm going to start with writing the word kalima this word means a word <laughs> in Arabic so this is the word kalima it has four letters and we normally add these kind of shapes and I'm going to explain what these shapes are later on so this is the word kalima it has four letters so we have the first letter let's start circulating them so we have the first letter which gives the sound ka let's say again the word is kalima so ka li and ma this kind of letter is a bit silent but it actually gives the sound of an h uh, at the end but a very weak h so so it'll be like kalima <sighs> the kalima yeah so i don't know if you can hear the h um it's not really um, it's not really clear so four letters okay and we have these shapes which we call in Arabic alamat at tashkil they're kind of accents like like the accents in the French language they they change the pronunciation of uh, the letter I'm going to go I'm going to talk about that just in a minute now so let's start with a very important thing that uh, the shape of an Arabic letter will change um, will change uh, depending uh, depending on the place of that letter so let's we have three possible places it's, it's either we have the letter in the beginning of a word or at the end of the word or at the beginning of or at the middle of the word so the first letter that we have here uh, if you look it up in the alphabet it will look like this this shape gives the sound ka as as the letter k in english ka and uh, and this is how it looks like in, in the alphabet it's it's a bit different so the thing is if this letter comes in the beginning of the word it will have kind of as an s shape thing and if it comes in the <coughs> as in this uh, word so and if it comes in the middle of the word it will look something like this okay let me rewrite that I did a bit of a mistake so this is if it comes in the middle of the word it will look like that and if it comes in the, l the end of the word it will look like this right it's it's kind of same just let me connect it to so it's connected from the front and it will look it will look it will look like this sorry anyway so um what about these shapes well these shapes just like i said a minute ago will change the way the w the letter will be pronounced there are three main shapes that we have in Arabic language and it's either a dash above a letter a dash under a letter okay and or um, this shape above a letter so 
let's take for example this letter the the calf it's called the calf calf in the Arabic language calf but it's it gives the, it gives the sound ka so just forget about the name right now it's a ka if I put this shape above it it will be ka as if I have a k and an a uh, just after it and if I put this shape it will be ku uh, as if I'm adding for example I think an o but it's like a ku okay and uh, so ka ku and if I do the other one it will be ki so it's ka ku ki so each letter in the Arabic language will go on just like that so ka ku ki mamu mi tatu ti and so on and that will be explained in details um, in the next lesson so uh, basically that's it now you know how from where to where we write from right from the right to the left again and uh, how the characters look like the fact that they change their um, shapes as uh, their position changes in word and um, and also you know about these guys they're called alamat at tashkil in Arabic again and uh, so basically that's it thank you for watching if you if you like if you would like me to add more please um, comment and rate my videos and just if, if you have any requests um, I'm here you can send me um, emails or whatever so thank you again and see ya